Uh, the European Banking Authority says it is one of the victims. Yes, on Sunday, the authority said that access to personal data through emails held on the Microsoft server may have been compromised, and that would make them the most recent of the known 60,000-plus victims globally. And that number is according to a former senior U.S. official Bloomberg has talked to with knowledge of the investigation. Now, it appears right now that the victims are mainly small or medium-sized businesses, and they were caught up in a wide net the attackers cast as Microsoft worked to shut down the hack. National security officials were alarmed by the rapid escalating nature of the attack. The White House issuing a statement over the weekend, quote, we are undertaking a whole of government response to assess and address the impact. The email went on to say this is an active threat still developing, and it urged network operators to take it very seriously. Now, Microsoft earlier last week had identified the hacking group as a Chinese government-backed group called Hafnium, and it says it appears to have been breaking into private and government computer networks for several months now through its widely used Exchange email software. Uh, Microsoft said its cloud-based emails were not impacted. As for Microsoft blaming the attack on China, a Chinese foreign ministry spokesman said on Wednesday that the country firmly opposes and combats cyber attacks and cyber theft in all forms and pushed back, suggesting that blaming a particular nation uh, was a highly sensitive political issue. Rish? Sue, so, so, uh, one cyber expert saying that other hacking groups may have identified the same server flaws and begun their own attacks. Now, what's the story there exactly? Yeah, apparently there was a big change last week. And Stephen Adair, who's the cyber expert that actually helped Microsoft identify the flaws that were used by the hackers to gain access to its server and uh, helped them uh, put together a fix uh, last week. Uh, he said that, quote, these additional attackers went to town and uh, really joined in, starting to uh, engage in mass exploitation, indiscriminate attacks on multiple uh, computer networks, uh, literally around the world, with no regard to purpose or size or industry. In other words, he said they were, quote, hitting any and every server they could. And in any event, whether the theory is that it was all Chinese hackers are going after multiple targets but looking for high intelligence targets, or there were additional hackers that identified this flaw and piled on. Uh, the experts are saying the attacks were so successful and so rapid that it appears they found a way to automate the process. And that, the experts say, underscores the fragility of the U.S. computer networks at this point in time. And again, it's the second major global cyber attack in nine months. As you may recall, last year, the Russian attack managed to breach nine U.S. federal agencies and hundreds of companies.